Good morning. Today we are going to talk to Dr. Ijiamo Banaya from the Department of Education. Thank Welcome, you. Doctor. Thank you very much. Hey, doctor, can you share with us how did you become a researcher? Okay, uh, my journey in becoming a researcher has been very interesting. Um, it started uh, right from um, my first degree, after I finished my first degree. I became interested in academics, you know, and there I went further to do my master's in economics education. And then I proceeded to a PhD. And then I found out that there are a lot of things interesting, trying to find out a lot of things that people don't really know, especially in the secondary school setting. And that made it to do a lot of investigations and try to research more on things that people do not know concerning the students and their learning and also the teachers and their teaching. And that is how I became a researcher. Thank you so much, Doctor. What are you currently working on? Okay, I'm working on um, pedagogy, teachers' pedagogy, the teaching and learning of economics in secondary school. I'm also working on the analysis of economic textbooks, specifically grade 10 economic textbooks. So I'm trying to look into how the teaching of a specific topic in economic textbooks are being treated, especially the prescribed textbooks in grade 10. I also looked into, and that's another aspect of research I'm looking into, teachers, how their pedagogy of teaching and learning, market dynamics specifically, a topic in economic grade 10, but although that topic takes um, from grade 10, it goes from grade 10 to 12. But we found out that it's, it comprises more of mathematics and graphs, and students actually struggle. If you check their matric questions, it's more or less in microeconomics, more or less in graph and mathematics, and students really struggle to understand those topics. So I try to look into it in the analysis of the year. Let's look analysis and how teachers are taking these students through the teaching and learning of this topic. So that is what I'm currently working on. Okay, thank you, Doctor. And then looking at that pedagogical content knowledge, yes. are there any educational theories that enhance or advance uh, that pedagogical content knowledge? Yes, um, I am um, um, interested in this uh, constructivism, the theory of constructivism. I believe in uh, teachers, I mean learners, learning from what they know, what they already know, what they see, what is happening around them, to construct me in that of it. For example, in the class, I don't believe in talking, talking, talking. You understand? I believe in let them say what they know on this topic. Let them relate it to what they know in, in the economy. And then the, from there, they'll be able to understand whatever topic is being taught. So I believe in the theory of constructivism because it helps students to learn better and effectively. Thank you so much, Doctor. And then, what role can technology play in the field of education? Yes, um, technology has played and keeps playing a lot of uh, role in, especially in my field, economics, which also encompassing business and but specifically in economics, we use um, blackboard here for teaching. Even in the class, we display the PowerPoint. We use all these things, you know, to um, help teaching and learning. They are part of technology. Yeah. And when you also make use of podcasts, um, yes, in, in our teaching and learning, and those things are uh, technology integrated, yeah. they help learners. 
or our students to learn. Thank you so much, Doctor. Are there any exciting gaps within your field of study? Yeah, I, I, I found this gap in my in a field of study. There is this gender-specific gap I found in, in, in my field. It looks as, as though this uh, economy is mainly for female. You will see that you will find out that men and they are, they are not there. So I don't really know why. So we also try to look into the gender specific. Why are they not there in the field of economics? Yes, and we also found who who come to realize that in economics there is this uh, it's not being integrated to other disciplines. We try to integrate other fields of uh, studies into economics. Because we find out that in our research, most people don't go into the quantitative aspect of um, economics research. They look into qualitative or quantitative perspective, and somehow it's it, it is biased. It makes people biased to say, "What are we really researching on? Does it really have impact on the economy?" When we speak or say we are economists, what are we really you know, looking into? What are we really researching? So that is one of the gaps what I found in the field. Okay, coming back to your study, Doctor, uh, with regard to pedagogical content knowledge, can it be applied to other disciplines? Yes, pedagogical content knowledge. Is uh, in fact, it's a theory that is coming from what the man will call Schumann. Schumann came up with this theory, and this theory is specific, specifically is on mathematics. But we adopted it into economy, into the field of social sciences, and we found out that it really fits in. Trying to find out teachers' knowledge and how uh, learners or students are performing in teaching and learning, so it fits in. So it takes into cognizance the learner perception. Yes, learner and teacher perspective, both perspective. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. And then, Doctor, what message can you give to aspiring researchers? For young researchers, aspiring researchers, I will encourage them to look into some of the challenges and high school learners are going through, they are really passing through or going through a lot of, um, as I said before, there are some topics that are difficult and challenging to them. So those coming up with us, let us go back from, to our basis. Our basis is trying to check with 10, 11, 12, what are they doing and how are they doing in these subjects, especially some of these topics, so that when they come up, to, to higher institutions, they were able to go even loving to do research and also helping others coming after them. Oh. Thank you so much, Doctor. And then, apart from research, what are your other interests? Uh, my other interests, it might be funny, but let me also say it. Um, uh, I like things that has to do with church, so I go to church. You know, I have been that interest and now I try to impact that um, Christian, I don't know how to put it, or in, in young um, learners, students, let them embrace God. I don't know if it's not the right thing to say. At this. No, you're welcome. Yes, yeah. so I try to encourage them to embrace God and, and that is where my interest is. Apart from research and school activities, the next place you see me is church activities and all you know that. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Doctor. We really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. I also appreciate. Thank you. Yes.